Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakah Kodash. Secondly, I want to give double honors to our apostles and our elders here at Great Millstone for teaching us this truth and who rule well. And Shalom to all you brothers across the four corners of this earth, pushing this word with all righteousness and sincerity. Shalom. All right, it's your brother Kabad from GMS Heavy Honor 144, GMS South Carolina Midmas Camp. Just coming back with a quick video through the power and the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And Lord willing, this video is edifying and good nourishment to the house of David. And as you can see from the madness on the screen, this is one of many reasons why the Lord says, Woe to this place, man. All right. Pursuant to Nahum 3 and 1. All right. It says, Woe to the bloody city is all full of lies, man. All right. And we know that the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, pursuing the Job 9 and 24. And this is one of the bloody, this is why the Lord says, woe to this fucking bloody ass city, man. All right. It's all full of lies because in this society, they tell you that this is deemed okay. You have to let a person uh, uh, be who they are, you know, and they tell you that, oh, God knows their heart. And this is a whole bunch of madness. But this right here is a, a, a straight attack to elementary kids, man. All right. Because when we read it real quick, it says, so this is what what's being put on TV for first graders now. And this is taking part here at a, a middle, uh, well, at an elementary school. That's uh, grades, uh, uh, what, preschool through fifth grade. You know, uh, uh, down here in South Carolina, they have elementary school, where it's pretty much preschool through fifth grade. And then uh, middle school consists of, um, well, middle school, AKA junior high, consists of sixth grade through the eighth grade, and then ninth through 12th, would be considered high school but this is something that they're trying to enforce at a young elementary age man all right so we already this is why we're gonna get some scriptures shortly but this is why hey woe to this place man the hell with this place man this is why the lord says he's going to destroy it off the face of the earth okay so with that being said because i got a few scriptures getting straight to the point and that's going to be that man all right now let's get um quoted that nahum let's get that nahum real quick all right, this is the book of Nahum 3 and 1, and it says, Woe to the bloody city. It is all full of lies and robbery. The prey departeth not. All right, because here it is, man. You have our people, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the Lord's chosen people that don't seem uh, uh, to be bothered by these things, man. All right, they don't seem to be uh, upset about these things, man. All right, they don't seem to be uh, uh, worried or they don't seem to stand up against them. I know a few months ago they had, a, a, I believe in California, where you had some parents that were pretty much fighting back against the school system. And particularly those parents were Edomites if they were not uh, Israelite foreigners. But they were trying to say that, that this should not be imposed on the, uh, on the elementary school. But here it is on this Sumter community page. There's no uproar for the, uh, of the people about this uh, act, man. All right. And then you have people that saying that, oh, I'm a uh, I'm a Christian or I believe that's why you get on the so-called uh, churches, man, because they're not coming in the spirit of, of the scriptures, man. Inevitably not coming in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Of course, they don't know the the, the, uh, the Lord's true name and his only begotten son's uh, true name. But they're coming in the spirit of this world, man, pretty much being friends with the world, man. When the scriptures tell you about being partners and friends with the world and you pretty much put yourself and in uh, pretty much a direct hit list, man, because the most I said, if you're a friend of this world and you're an enemy against him, man. All right. And we're going to get that scripture as well. But uh, let's read this Isaiah 10 and 1. It says, Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that have writ and right grievousness, which they have prescribed. All right. And when you well, this is why we say the earth was given into the hands of the wicked, because who is the so-called who, who runs the government? Who's the top officials who sits in those high seats and who sits in those high chairs? All right. And, and, and all your, your courtrooms, your, 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 your school offices and whatnot is Esau, man, the so-called white man, the a.k.a. the devil, man. All right. And then he write these laws and pass these laws because this is something that's being passed and, and that they're going to push. And, uh, and, and, you know, if it's down here in South Carolina, it's something that's being pushed in, uh, throughout the whole uh, uh, nation of the United States, man. All right. This is why this place is upside down, man. This is why the condition of the people are the way they are, because once again, Esau is passing all these goddamn legislations and all these rules and all these laws. And then that's why the Lord said, woe unto them, man. All right. Because it's our people, as the scriptures tell us in Jeremiah 4 and 22, that are wise to do evil. 
all right? But to do good, they have no knowledge, man, because you have our people that they'll just say, oh, man, it's, hey, 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 this is life. This is this is the way of the world now, instead of standing up for this shit, man, all right? Because the scriptures tell us real quick, man, all right? Because parents should be in this mind frame right here, Proverbs 22 and 6, it says, train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. So, brach thayah b'ashim shai for the you know, for the era that, uh, well, myself and, and other brothers and sincere brothers that we grew up in and, and our parents emphasizing the fact about, hey, that's a wrong act. You should not ever be um, on some, you know, some some uh, funny bunny business. Uh, uh, OK, so that was heavily pushed whenever I was coming up in the uh, in the in the uh, late 80s and the early 90s, man. All right. You 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 never would uh, see this. uh this new lifestyle that these people uh, 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 practice, uh, practice at this level, man. All right. And this is one reason why, you know, the prophets, beginning with our apostles and our elders that we're sighing and crying, man, for all the wickedness that takes place, man. Because our people, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, they are in the spirit of standing up against this, against this shit. They're in the spirit of, 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 of applauding it, clapping about it. All right. Because outside of uh, uh, Esau pushing that uh, nasty agenda, you have the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that pretty much they're they're okay with the with our nation of women just straight up being whores, man. All right, being sluts, man. All right, jumping from uh pogo stick to pogo stick. And there's never any accountability of that, especially once again, affecting the Israelite community, man. All right, and, and this is why a hey, we say uh 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 rise up, or the scriptures say rise up you women at ease, man, because uh, I mean, not to uh, shift gears, but hey, we can look at, the, at at our nation of women and see that they're at ease, they're comfortable, and they never hold themselves accountable, man. All right, pretty much like Esau, man, not going to hold himself accountable. All right, for all the uh, acts that he's uh, doing to the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. This is why Rakhtayal Bashim Shai, once again, man, hey, that they that that the Lord has revealed these secrets to the prophets, the servants. For us to uh, blow that trumpet and give our people warning, man, because, hey, you can see this uh, gradualism just gradually trying to uh, overtake the world, man. All right. This is why we're out here on the highways and byways, man. All right. With that being said, let's get uh, real quick. This is why we're out here on the highways and byways. Ezekiel 9 and 4, and I'm going to jump to second address as well. Ezekiel 9 and 4 says, And the Lord said, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. So, hey, that mark, Abaratazah, is that mark of exemption, man. All right, this is the mark uh, Tawab. It's totally different from the mark that's in Revelation 13 and 16 going into the Karagma. All right. That's that Karagma mark. All right. Which means the incision. But this mark right here is emphasizing the Tawab, the mark of exemption. So we, uh, beginning with our apostles and our elders, we look to get that mark of exemption uh, 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 for all the abominable things that we have to sigh and cry and see in this society, man. All right. From Esau, just once again, passing all type of laws and legislations, uh, attacking our people, trying to get our people to be on board with the ways of the world and our people not seeking Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. This is why we say woe to the bloody city, man. The hell with this place, man, and all these and all this nasty shit that this earth has going on, man. All right. Ephesians let us know, man, that we wrestle against spiritual wickedness, man, in high places, man. And who's in those high places, man? Who's in those high places? Let's hold that real quick. We're going to go back to that Ezekiel. And let's get uh, 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 2 Thessalonians real quick. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and 3. All right? Because we're going to we're gonna read what Esau... Uh, this is how you know this is talking about Esau, the goddamn devil. Okay? Now it says, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away. And the man, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. Now, pursuing the Malachi 1 and 4, Esau is the border of all wickedness, man. The son of perdition. Going into just Esau is the, the son of wickedness, man. The son of confusion. Upside, turning things upside down, man. And we're in the times now where this devil is being revealed on all levels, man. Because we just showed an example through that picture. Because we know Hey, who who's uh, uh over the the district? All right, and we know who the district is funded by, etc. and etc. Going up that so called ladder, man, and it all leads, all roads leads to Esau, man. Because hey, here it is, 
you don't even know what your your, your so called teacher that's supposed to be educating, which in the word educate means what to draw out. You don't even know what they're, it seems as if they're trying to draw out nastiness in our children, man. All right. And and you don't know what this educator's uh, uh, beliefs or background is. And this is why we call it a fool system, man. And over the years, we've seen that a, the school system is definitely getting worse, man. All right. These people are there uh, specifically for a paycheck or just to be uh, uh, freaks and nasty, man. Because also one thing I noticed about the school system, and I'm sure you brothers and you and, and, and the few aquas, the sisters, have noticed as well. You always have a lot of uh, teachers that are, are getting uh, jammed up for uh, being inappropriate or having sexual relationships with the students, man. All right? And I joke and I, I laugh and sometimes, you know, just joking. I'd be like, man, where these teachers was at when I was in high school, man? <laughs> you know? And it's like this as well, too. It doesn't make sense for them to go to school all these years. All right. Go to school all these years, eight, nine, uh, 10 years of college, uh, to go take the test to, to be certified to become a teacher. And then you do all that to get uh, uh, especially for the women to be. Um, this is why, you know, the women are, are simple minded to be uh, finessed or pretty much to be uh, uh, seduced by a, a, a junior high kid man, or a high school kid. So you go through all this college and all this stuff and then you get seduced by a, 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 a minor, you know, and, or, and vice versa, man. So it doesn't make sense. And this is why it's, hey, this is a fool system, man. All right. Nothing makes sense in this society. Everything is upside down, literally, man. All right. Woe to this bloody ass city, man. And woe to the people that believe and trust in this place, man. Because you can see every day, every second, every hour, every minute that this place is crumbling, this place is falling. And, and the main key thing to that is the fact that righteousness is back in this place, man. All right. I got a precept for that, too. I think that second Edward 6 and 28, it talks about hey, the, 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 this fruit and this the truth that has went so long without in this earth, man, is beginning to flourish, man. And that's a thorn in Esau's side, man. And we love it because that means that hey, it's the fall of Esau's queendom and the rise of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh kingdom, man. All right. Now, the second Thessalonians 2 and 3, let no man deceive you by any means for that day shall not come except there they're coming, falling away first, and the man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposeth and exalted himself above all that is called power or his worship, so that he that he he as so that he as Yahweh sitteth in the temple of Yahweh, showing himself to be Yahweh, uh, showing himself that he is Yahweh. And who is that? Esau, man. Esau sits sits high. And so-called uh, uh, looks low, man. All right. He wants to be a the most high, man. But Esau could never be the most high because Esau is all about confusion and all about wickedness, man. And the most high is not the author of confusion, man. And Esau is all about confusion, man. So, hey, when we, we this this is a clear indication of who the son of perdition is, man, and what his whole agenda and what his M.O. is, man. All right. But see, let's get this real quick. I'm going to go back to that Ezekiel 9 and 4, too. Let's get this real quick. Second Edris chapter six and verse 28. All right. Now it says, as for faith, it shall flourish. All right. And we know by now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things that are not seen, man. Pursuing in Hebrews 11 and one and beginning with our apostles and our elders, we have sincere faith in Yahweh Bashim Hawashai. And, and with that faith, hey, we know that the, the, the crumbling of this society is happening, man. All right. And we also see with the crumbling of this society, we see our people waxing worse and worse. We see the Israelites being more disobedient because throughout this week, you know, you had that um that Alabama incident with the, the riverboat fight. But you see how Jake, you know, they they're in a jokey mode all the goddamn time, just laughing, ki 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 ha 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 and about shit all the time, man. This is how you know who the Israelites are because they're always in the house of freaking mirth, man. Always in the house of freaking mirth, not taking nothing serious until shit hits the fan. All right. Now it says, as for faith, it shall flourish. And that has been going on. Begin to hear mainly at Great Millstone, man. Begin with our apostles and our elders, because we have faith in Yahweh by Shema that He's going to redeem the hopeful, humble, fearful elect. And we hope to be a part of that number. All right. Every day we're, we're fighting to be a part of that hopeful number. Asking the Lord to continue to have mercy on us and continue to sup with us and continue to keep his Holy Spirit on us. Okay. As for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome and the truth which have been so long without fruit shall be declared. And this truth is being declared on a high on a high level right now, man, because we're in that spirit of Isaiah 62 and uh, 6 and 7. All right. 
given this uh, uh, being those watchmen, all right, to give the warning and given the name of Yahweh by Shema, which I no rest until what righteousness is established back in this place, man. All right. Righteousness is established back in this place. And this is why righteousness has to be back established in this place, because this is one of many reasons why righteousness has to be established back in this place, man. All right. Because Esau is the madman running around doing all this freaky, nasty ass shit, man. All right. Now let's get back to um real quick. Let's go back to Ezekiel nine and four. Now it says, and the Lord said, go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. All right, and this is why a a we were sighing and crying because of all these things that take place, man. We're looking at the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that are true uh, that are, 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 are disregarding. Hey, the Most High's hand, man, and, and the Most High's words, man, because hey, we're the prophets of the Lord humbly. We say that humbly, starting with our apostles and our elders that are giving our people that warning, doing what the Lord is commanding us to do, man. All right. The men doing doing what the Lord is commanding us to do. And our people are fully immersed in the ways of this world, man. They, they're pretty much hand in hand with this world, man. <laughs> Real quick, Shalaki, let's get uh, James 4 and 4. James 4 and 4 says, you adulterers and adulteresses, all right? You niggas and you niggets, man. Because, hey, Jake love to be, I'm a real nigga. And, then, and these these women are, are, are glorifying being whores, man. And it's, it's just ridiculous how the, the Israelite woman just is, uh, just, man, it, it makes so much perfect sense why apostles and their elders, you know, be like, yo, man, the end of, man, it's best not to even deal with the end of right now because she has, it's oozing with, uh, with the pride uh, uh, just like Esau, man, oozing with pride, man. All right. Know ye not that friendship of the world is empathy with Yahweh. All right. And these niggas and these niggas love the world, man. They love chasing the bag. They love they, they love uh, going out on the weekends, going on vacations, pretty much not taking the words of the Lord serious, man. So they they love the world. Anything the world offers and deems is fun. All right. Because the scriptures say uh, the rudiments of this uh, world and not after the uh, Hamashiach, and we hold that one as well, too. But this is, this is what our people cling to, and they cling to, man. All right? Not paying attention to all the the, the, uh, the, the unrighteous decrees that are being passed, et cetera, and et cetera. Hell, we even got people that's not even taken in, uh, in consideration that the government just pretty much said that the, the UFOs, so-called uh, 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 chariot, those are the chariots of the Most High, are real things, man. But that doesn't, that's not, hey, our people are not, they're, that that doesn't uh, strike the nerves of of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. All right, and it's it, and it's and it's terrible because we should be seeing these as signs as hey, our, our, our salvation is near, man. The Most High is coming to redeem the hopeful, humble, fearful elect. That's why the election has attained it, and the rest are blinded, and we see that now based on the fact of how people react. Because here it is, is no secret talk about the chariots anymore. It is is a thing, and our people. Or don't don't seem to be moved by that, man. And most of those people are the ones that took that damn that juice, man. All right, because remember that juice was uh, uh supposed to block your uh, pineal gland. You know that they, they call it the God gene. So hey, maybe that's the reason why a lot of people are oblivious to it, man. Uh, uh, and also not to mention some of our people are just dumb, as the scriptures tell us in Hosea four and six. Our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, going into fear of Yahweh by Shem So and and also Isaiah one and three, they they they're not even consider considering that these signs are for the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. They're not paying attention, but you ask Jake about uh, the NFL draft, NBA season, uh, uh, anything that's pertaining to this world, the latest music, and they're on point with that. They can tell you the release dates, the tracks, who, who was featured on the song, who helped write the song, how much a person's net worth is worth, <laughs> all the shit of this world, they can tell you, man. All right. Now it says, James 4 and 4, you adulterers and adulteresses, Know ye not the friendship of the world is empathy with Yahweh? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of Yahweh. So if you're a friend of the world, the scriptures just said you're an enemy of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. All right, now let's get real quick. Second John, Shalaki, first John, chapter 2, verse 15. All right, and it says, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Okay, and we already know what's in the world. All this fucking weird, freak, nasty stuff, man. And we just read James 4 and 4. If you're a friend of the world, you're an enemy of the Most High. So this is why the scriptures say, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. All right? 
if any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him because you're too busy trying to fulfill your uh, your de your so called uh, fulfill your flesh and your so called dreams and destinies. See, our people don't consider that you're supposed to be uh, uh, working on your relationship with the Most High. How do you do that, man? You do that by by asking yourself, pretty much examining yourself, and say to yourself, "Would the Lord be pleased with what I'm doing? How I'm moving?" Is this conducive to my um, relationship with the Most High? Is it does is is this scriptural? Am I living my life right? Most people don't because they gradually have uh, they gradually and they and, and pretty much they've submitted themselves to the ways of the world, man. All right, they've came up with their own definition of what they deem righteous, man. And the scriptures tell us that about our people having that zeal, but not according to righteousness, man. Because people will say all day with their mouths, all right, that lip service. Oh, I love the Lord, I fear the Lord, but when it comes to actions. Being a hero and a doer of the world, you don't see that, man. You see Jake still in the mind frame of doing worldly shit, man. All right? Now it says, for all that is in the world, 1 John 2 and 16, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And that's not, is that not what we're seeing in the world today, man? All right, the lust of the flesh, because you got uh, a Jake that's just a a a jumping from and, and women jumping from man to man, women uh, uh, men jumping, messing with this man's woman, just just lust of the flesh, man. Anything that your flesh de desires, if you want to eat abominable foods, people are doing that, man. Instead of on the Sabbath days, people are still go, uh, traveling, working, just doing all type of bullshit, man. So they're, they're fulfilling that lust of their flesh because it feels good to their flesh to do these things, man, and they fulfill that in this society the lust of the eyes everything that they see they gotta have man there's no form of discipline man everything they see they touch or they or they put their minds on they do they go hard to obtain things in this world man but when it's time to when it, when it's when you're supposed to be obtaining spiritual things uh jake doesn't have time for that but when it's time to obtain earthly things things that are going to dissolve and die and burn up in this place Jake gonna gonna go hard to do that, man. The Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are gonna go hard to fulfill that. All right. Now it says the pride of life, and who's more proud than niggas right now, man? Here it is. We're in a full fledged captivity, man. Here it is. We're in hell, man. The lower state, but you still have niggas out here proud, man. All right. You like for instance that that same incident that happened in Alabama. You got niggas that ain't even there, and they're just proud about that, man. They're proud, like yeah, yeah, yeah. But what about when when this uh, situation? Uh, uh, clears up when the NFL season and all that shit starts, man. That shit's going to be old news, man. It's going to be a thing of the past and something just to chuckle and laugh at, man. All right? But you still have Jake. I'm black and I'm proud, man. The pride of life, man. And why are you proud in your damn captivity, man? It doesn't make sense, man. <laughs> That's why the scripture says it's not of the Father, but of the world, man. Because you're doing exactly what Esau wants you to goddamn it do, man. All right? And the world passeth away in the lust thereof, 1 John uh, uh, 2 and 17, and the world passeth away in the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of Yahweh abideth forever. And we pray, began our apostles and our elders, that we continue to do the will of Yahweh by Shem Shai so we can abide forever, man. All right, so the Lord can have mercy on us. And Abarat we be uh, a part of that ceremony, being crowned with those crowns of, of righteousness, man, being beamed up in those chariots, man, hey, watching a, a, a people being shocked at the strangeness of our salvation, Abarat all right, now let's get, because we read Ezekiel 9 and 4 about how we're sighing and crying. Let's go to 2 uh, Edris real quick, chapter 13. 2 Edris chapter 13, I believe it's, uh, let's see, around the, uh, let's see. It might be 2 Edris 15. Yeah, 2 Edris 15, Shalaki. And um, we'll start at 6, man, because once again, <laughs> This wickedness from the from the ABC agenda, from the uproars of the uh, from the the nasty people, and just just all these laws and legislations that's being passed, man. The rudiments of this goddamn world. Uh, before I read that, let's get Colossians real quick, brothers and sisters. All right, because um, our people are, are not fashioning themselves after the ways of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. Now it says, beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Hamashiach, man. All right, because we already read the penalty of being friends with this world, man. All right, the, the pride of life, the pride, the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, man. It's not of the Father, but it's of the world, man. All right, so as we just said, beware lest any man spoil you through vain philosophy, Colossians 2 and 8, and our people definitely are spoiled off of uh, off of this vain philosophies. 
the scriptures ask, it tells us real quick, I believe that's Jeremiah 2 and 33. It says, why trimmest thy ways to seek love? Therefore has thy also taught the wicked ones thy ways. And that's our people to the T, trimming their ways, all right, to seek love and acceptance of this goddamn society that's, uh, that's about to crash, that is crashing on an everyday basis, man, all right, that is gradually uh, showing our people because the son of perdition has been revealed. But see, that son of sin, and what is Esau known for, man, uh, 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 making our people do wickedness, man. All right, to transgress the laws, man, because Esau sells nasty food to our people, passing all these goddamn agendas, and all this affects the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans because it entices our people to uh, uh, to want to uh, commit to transgress against the Heavenly Father, man. All right, to commit sins, man. All right, and, and sins goes into what transgressions of the laws, man. Pursuing the First John three and four, man. All right. Now it says once again, Colossians two and eight: Beware lest any man spoil you. Through philosophy and vain deceit, after the traditions of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Hamashiach, because our people are spoiled by these philosophies from when they get their degrees, all right, when they when they get out there, they're from, from the bachelors, masters, associates, all right, when you so called getting on a so called level in this life, man, all right, because once again, Amos 9 and 8, the Lord said his eyes is upon the sinful kingdom, and he's going to destroy it off the face of the earth, man. So, hey, what's the point? Whenever this world is going to freaking pass away, man, all right, fulfilling all the lust of your, of your goddamn flesh and your eyes and the pride of life and, and, and not working on your salvation, man. This is what we're designed. This is what we're supposed to be doing, man. This is what we're designed for to serve you. How about Shema Bashai, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans? Come back to your true power. And here it is. We're in the, the, the final hour, man. As we're approaching the final hour, we're in the last seconds of this kingdom. And you think our people would be alarmed by that. All right, here it is. Inflation is is happening right in front of our eyes, man. All right, people are getting kidnapped. All type of shit is going on, man. The famine of the word is slowly approaching, but you still have Jake in that mind frame of tearing, man. All right, and Sirach five and seven uh, clearly tells a hey, the penalty of tearing of tearing. All right, and but this is what our people love to do, man. All right, let's get back to um, let's go back to that second Edris fifteen. Second Edges chapter 15, and let's read um verse 6. Now it says, For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Therefore saith the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. All right? Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually going back to ezekiel 9 and 4 the souls of the just abaratazah a begin our apostles and i our elders a we're those men that are that are sighing and crying and complaining continually about this hell and about this captivity pretty much not giving this place no rest not being uh uh cool and not being uh, uh idle and not being uh content with with the shit that's going on man all right we're, we're complaining uh, uh continually man all right. That's why the Lord says he will hold his tongue no more as far as the wickedness that these people commit, because we know hey, Esau has bounds that he cannot pass, man. All right. And, and wickedness is, hey, as we just read, it, it has exceedingly polluted the whole earth, man. All right. So, so much so that hey, you even got the animals goddamn doing wicked ass shit, man. All right. And, and, and they've been trying to, as, as we opened up with it, trying to uh, directly affect the youth, man, trying to give kids more uh, rights, man. Right, because I be seeing billboards around town, and I'm sure you know it's something where they where they pretty much are, are saying like your child can take the jump shot, and pretty much they're giving your child rights, man. Which which pretty much proves that hey, you don't own the state. Your child is owned by the state, man. All right, people don't really even have uh, full custody of their own children, man. All right. So um, let's continue on. It says Second Ezra fifteen and nine, and therefore saith the Lord, I will surely avenge them. And receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. And we hope to be a part of that blameless man, that innocent man. You know, right? We know our righteousness is uh, is counted as filthy rags, but we we still praying to the Lord that hey, that we be uh, that He blots out our our sins, man, and and that the Lord just continues to sup with us. We want to be seen clean in the eyes of the heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, man. All right, because hey hey, 
we're out here a sighing and crying about this shit every day, man. All right. And, and as that image I showed, that's just one of many things that we sigh and cry about. Inevitably, we're just doing the work, the, the, the will of the Heavenly Father out there doing what? Blowing that trumpet, giving our people that warning in the spirit of not giving this place any rest. Because as soon as Micah 2 and 10, we know that this is not our rest, man. All right. This is not the kingdom of Yahweh by Shem Shai, man. All the shit that's going on in this, in this place, man. All of the nasty shit. Hey, this ain't the true kingdom of the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, man. All right. So, um, as I said, man, I just wanted to kind of harp on that image. And um, Abarat Zah, this video has been edifying and good nourishment to the house of David, all right? Because, hey, we're in those times, man, where this devil is, a, as the scriptures tell us in our Revelation 12 and 12, and we can read that and we'll close with that, man. This devil is ready to come down with that great wrath because why? You know, this time is short, man, all right? Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that his, but he hath but a short time. Hey, man, this devil kingdom is almost up, man. All right? And it's going to be time for righteousness to be established back in this place, man. All right, let's read real quick, Second Edger 6 and 9. Okay, now it says, For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. That's right, man. Jacob, man, pursuing to the Israelites, the Negroes, Latinos, the Native Americans, the Lord's chosen people. And we're, we're going to be in control again. The world is going to be governed after the uh, the, 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 the rules and the and the order of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Righteousness, man. All right. And Esau is the end of the world, man. And Jacob, all right, the Negroes, Latinos, the Native Americans, the Lord's chosen people, man. Hey, man, beginning with the with the most high and his only begotten son. A righteousness is going to be established in this place again. We can't wait, man. All right. Tired of all this wickedness that's going on, man. All right. So, um, Abarat is I pray this video is edifying and good nourishment to the house of David. So, I want to close by saying, Call Halayim La Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah HaKwadash. Double honors to our apostles and our elders here at Great Millstone for teaching us this truth and who rule well. And Shalom to all you brothers across the four corners of this earth pushing this word with all righteousness and sincerity. Until the next time I do say, Shalom.